What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Hazuki on the mic and we are about to bring you a brand new video. So let's go. So yesterday or a couple days ago I recorded a vlog, uh, you know, posting about how it was my first vlog on the channel. I want to do vlogs, but at the same time, my equipment right now is kind of uh, iffy. So I feel like recording Audacity uh, with a mic is the best option for me right now. So right now, I'm going to just talk about pro wrestling in general, what I think of it right now. What's the direction is going in it. And, you know, let's just, let's just talk about a few things, though. About Seth Rollins, you know, of course we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Cesaro's lack of push. We're going to talk about all these things that I want to talk about. And how I feel about the current state of WWE or pro wrestling in general. So, first off... You know, I've been a pro wrestling fan since, uh, I guess, 96 or 95. I can't really remember when was the last time I started watching wrestling, but it was back then when The Rock started to debut, you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, fast forward to now, all the goods of pro wrestling has been gone away, in my opinion, because of this shit of company. You know, my lack of interest is, like, gone. It's, you know, it's not gone, per se, but it's fucking gone. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible. I'm just gonna fucking say it. I have no interest to watch it right now. I have no interest to watch pro wrestling in general. Not even WWE, just pro wrestling in general. Maybe I'm going out of it. I don't know. But I still love the sport, you know. People don't call it a sport. I call it a sport. But, you know, my thing with pro wrestling is it's a phase, right? It's a hobby at this point in time for me. But I like I look, look at the positives. There's some good things about pro wrestling that I really like at the moment. But the things that I don't really like is just making me, you know, fucking stay away from wrestling as far as possible. But I want to talk this video because I'm very adamant about this character. I really think this person really deserves a push from this company. And for those who don't watch pro wrestling, a uh, push is really, you know, a guy going up a card. So like, say, say somebody's in the bottom of the card, like you have the main event, then the bottom of the card, the lower card, and somebody's at the bottom, and if you push them up at the top, that's called a push in the pro wrestling world. So I deserve, I think this guy deserves a push to the, like the main event scene. He's right now in the upper card level, you know, below the main event stars and shit, you know, not as focused as much. But should be focused on and should be, you know, have the whole show around him. The name, the guy is Claudio from the Indies days, but his uh, in ring name for WWE is Cesaro. Cesaro is a fucking beast. If you guys haven't seen Cesaro, I suggest you look it up. I suggest you look up his workout routine and what he does in the ring, you know, he's, just, he's fucking sick. I'm not gonna fucking lie. This guy's a beast and probably one of my per favorite performers to watch ever. Well, not, not ever, but, you know, at the moment, currently, he is my favorite by far. He, the thing he does in the ring is just fucking crazy and, you know, flat out incredible. His strength is like beast, man, man. You want to see Brock Lesnar is a beast in the ring, but fucking Cesaro is right up there in my opinion. Cesaro, man, this guy is incredible. But I think the problem with Cesaro is the lack of push or direction in the creative team, which is the writing team in the pro wrestling world, is that they have no direction for him. They don't know what to do with him. Which is kind of sad, in a sense, because he's one of the most over guys on the roster by far, if you're not Daniel Bryan or John Cena. So, to see him directionless with the creative team, it's kind of pissing me off, to be honest. 
because Cesaro has what it takes, man. He has what it takes to have a company build around him. I think I think he has the ability to draw if you have if you give him that ball, you know? If you give him the ball to draw, then he will draw. But if you don't give him the ball to anything, he will not draw. Simple. They dropped the ball with Daniel Bryan because, you know, they had no faith in them. But if you have a faith in somebody, you will see results. And I feel like the WWE needs to just, you know, pull the trigger and push Desiro to the fucking moon, man. I don't fucking care if, you know, people are going to say, Oh, you're going to get tired of Desiro, blah, blah, blah. Fuck that shit. Cesaro needs this push. And if you don't push Cesaro, I'm probably not going to watch a lot of it. I'm not probably not going to watch pro wrestling at all. Or WWE for that matter. For that matter. Oof, I had a flub there. But, you know, it just, you know, makes me sad to watch this guy, you know, directionless. And I want to see good things out of him. I want to see him at the top of the card. You know, things like that. I want to see out of C Cesaro in the next two years, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully they listen to the crowd noise. Hopefully they, you know, say, hey, hey, this guy got something. Maybe, you know, we'll give him some direction. Maybe he'll become champion. Or maybe it will happen. But at the moment, he's just directionless. He has no feuds, no storylines. Kind of there, you know, but always hardworking. Always putting on a show for the crowd. But for some reason, the management just does not see anything in him. So it's kind of a bummer. You know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a situation where I feel like, oh, in the next few months or six months, they may might just let him go. That, and that will suck. And that will suck if he gets let go. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. And I think WWE won't be that stupid. And, they, you know, hold on to Cesaro. Because I really think Cesaro could be a draw. If given the right push, you know. Or given the right opportunities to become a draw. You won't become a draw overnight. So, you just you gotta fucking you just gotta wait and see man Cesaro is a beast anyways that's Cesaro's problem and my whole feelings around that scenario but let's talk about Seth Rollins Seth Rollins is a character uh, who's been the champion for like since the Wrestlemania earlier this year so he's been a champ for a while now like 220 days or something like that, but he had to you know relinquish the title or vacate it because of injury that he suffered out of live event and when he suffered that injury, I feel like you know Why was he wrestling at a house show? I mean I get he was a champion and all but you, you guys should have you know maybe slow it down a bit and I just heard big show got injured so they are running out of fucking tire talent you know uh, so maybe it's the time to push some other stars like Cesaro like fucking Finn Balor or put, get Samoa Joe from the NXT or you know you know just do some shit and I don't know this tournament they're running I know what's gonna happen I but I just don't feel like I want it to happen in a sense because it's just gonna be predictable and people who don't like predictability in the wrestling world at all so you know that's the thing with wrestling nowadays it's just predictable and I really can't fucking stand it I want to be surprised I want to be you know you know fucking edge of my seat when I'm watch watching matches and whatnot and you know but I feel like it's none of it's going on like that. None of it has a story, no ring psychology or whatever. But you know, it's pro wrestling for you. You're either gonna love it one day or you're gonna fucking hate it. 
and that's what I feel like as a fan of this sport, you know. So, anyway, that's this uh, today's video. I hope you like it. I hope you understand that I feel like, you know, my equipment is not the greatest right now. And I feel like this is the best opportunity for me to get my content out there faster, quicker, you know, more time efficient, you know. You know, I'm just trying to build this YouTube channel really up there, you know. Hopefully, in the next two to three months, I just really have a lot of content for y'all to listen to. I hope you guys like my commentary and whatnot. And if you do, subscribe, like, and share my channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, peace out, YouTube.